Hello students, in the last lecture, we have started with the law of supply. In that lecture, we have covered We have covered the as uh, we have covered the introduction statement. Then we have also seen the schedule, its explanation, graph, and its explanation. Now in this video, I'm going to cover the assumptions of law of supply. What are the assumptions? Assumptions are nothing but uh, few things should remain should be there to prove that law. What the law says? Law says uh, law says that. As the price rises, supply also rises. As the price falls, supply also falls. So let's begin with the, to prove this statement or to prove this law, we have to assume few things are constant. What are they? Let's see. Now, okay. Now see, a uh, constant cost of production. Now, what is cost of production? In the introductory part only, I have explained you what is cost of production. Cost of production is nothing but the cost incurred while producing a uh, particular commodity. That is, whatever the cost expenses we incurred while product producing particular commodity. So they are saying that while proving this law, the cost of production should not uh, should not be changed like it should remain constant because if the cost of production changes profit level changes uh, maybe the maybe the uh, less quantity will be supplied at the same price anything can happen so they are assuming that cost of production should remain constant then we have constant technique of production technique of production means suppose i'm particularly i'm using this, this technique xyz i should uh, continue it, uh, in the next next production only because if the cost of production changes sorry cost of production not cost of production if you change the technology it may affect the costing part for example if i'm in using traditional method and suddenly uh, i have introduced uh, modern technology maybe because of modern technology my cost has reduced so it may affect the supply so they are saying that while proving this law your technique of production should remain constant. Then next is, next is no change in weather condition, just a minute. No change in weather condition. As we all know, supply of agriculture commodity totally depends upon the weather condition. If weather is good, if everything is in positive uh, way, then we will get more production. More production leads to more stock. More stock leads to more supply. But if some calamities, natural calamities like flood, earthquakes, uh, takes place, then uh, it may affect the supply. Okay, so they are saying that weather condition actually it is not in our hand, but still we are while proving this law, we are assuming that no change in government policy. The recent example is government is changing its policy. For example, during lockdown, uh, it was compulsory to close your shops or whatever the business you are in education or anything you should have to follow the government rules and regulation but they are saying that while proving this law government policy should not be changed this is impossible taxation trade policy uh, government continuously changes its policy as per the situation but while proving this law we are going to assume that government policy will remain changed throughout that law then we have then we have no change in transport cost how transport cost affect the supply suppose i am bringing some goods from particular city and because of that my costing has increased to 10000 but instead of that if i am buying it from local i am getting i am getting those commodities at rupees 1000 so are you understanding this 9,000 difference is there that you are going to cover up by increasing the price of your commodity. So transportation also affects us while supplying the commodities. So we are assuming that better trans uh, transport costs will remain 
constant. Better transport facility increases supply at the same price. Price of other goods. Now, what is this other goods? Other goods are complementary or substitute goods. For example, substitute goods, if price of Pepsi is 20, Coke is also 20. But price of Pepsi is still, price of Pepsi is still 20 rupees, but price of Coke has changed to 10 rupees. Now, because of change in the price of other goods, it may affect the supply of this Pepsi. Okay, supply may not hold true because producer may transfer resources to other products. Price of other goods are assumed to remain constant. If they change, the law of supply may not hold true because producer may transfer resources to other products. Or sometimes what happens, producer, what he will do? Sometimes instead of giving it to Pepsi, they may uh, think that they should utilize those resources to produce some other goods. So this may affect the supply because they are finding that as the price of Pepsi is 20 and Coke is available at 10 rupees and they don't want to reduce the price. Uh, so they will reduce the supply and instead of those uh, resources, they will utilize in other way. Last is no future expectation. Law also assumes that seller do not. In demand also we have seen that uh, consumers should not expect the futures. We call it as speculation. Speculation means expecting the future. In this case, supplier also, because if I have assumed that, if I have uh, expecting that today I'm selling it at 100 rupees and I'm expecting that tomorrow uh, the prices will ri rise. So even though the customer comes, I will not sell at 100 rupees. What I have expected that tomorrow I will get 120 rupees for the same product. So this should not happen. There should not be expectations. Here we have finished with all the seven assumptions. Thank you students.